Welcome back. This is M Dog, and doing a little fishing planet. So we are. Um, I don't know how long I'll feel like doing this, but what I have been thinking about for the last 24 hours is, oh man, it would be fun to try to complete some of these missions. I've never done many missions on this account. Like I guess I've accidentally finished some. If you go and look at my missions list, there's so many. You know, and most of them are just things like I've never even looked at. That's why their exclamation point still by them. Now I've completed some, again, probably by accident. I don't think I've sought them out. Apparently I did part of the 4th of July thing or something sometime. But anyway, so we're here at Lesney Villa Exploration 2. So apparently we already did one. So we're in search of the Northern Pike, the Common Carp, Mirror Carp, and the tench. Ooh, the tench is going to be the problem. So I thought we would just try to complete some of these missions. Like, surely they're not too hard. They might be. I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Um, we've got semolina. I don't know if I have anything for tench. Ah, oh, bloodworms. And they're nocturnal. We're going to get them at night, right? We could get one first thing in the morning. All right, so let's think about what we want to use here. This is going to be half of it, right? It's figuring out how to set up stuff. And before I start each one, if I, again, I don't know if I'm going to do multiple ones of these or not. I'd like to, but we'll see. Before I start each one, I'm just going to try to grab some gear and then just try to make it work with the gear we've grabbed. So we've got a couple of spinner setups here, but I doubt we'll use those a whole lot. Mostly we've got some bottom setups. I guess we should have gotten a fourth one. We'll just do three and then hold a spinner just for fun. Um, but let's look at baits. So I think that for the Northern Pike, small minnows, shiners. What do we have more of? Small minnows or shiner? Are we probably, I mean, small minnows are just cheaper, right? So let's try to do that. What size hook is this though? A 1-0? I feel like these are small fish. Is that a barbless? I'm not even sure if it is. I mean, our setup is going to be way too big. We'll try a 1-0 for that. All right, so now let's think about on this one. All right, hold on. Let me go back to the mission real quick. Common carp, mirror carp, tench. I almost want to have one set up for tench right off the bat in case we catch a lucky one. So that would be Bloodworm, I'm thinking. Unless we have Crawfish. Redworm. I remember Redworm working too. Nightcrawlers as well. Let's try straight up Nightcrawlers. What size hook is this? 14. That's probably more appropriate for fish on this lake. Um, so that means two. We're going to go smaller than a 1-0. These are some small carp. What's the smallest hook we have? 14? We could try a 6. And if we're not catching anything, we'll switch it. But let's just go with um, I think Semolina. Alright, so we've got Northern Pike, Common, maybe Mirror 2, Tinch, and then we'll just mess around. Oh, I didn't grab any um, spoons, I bet. Right? We're not going to catch anything with this stuff. A buzz bait? Maybe. But those are big buzz baits. Do they just have like a basic spoon? Yeah, this is cheap too. We'll just try like a slop spoon. Oh, we've got one at home. So we don't have one of these yet, so we'll get one of these. And we'll throw on. Let's see if it's. it might be too light. Eesh. That's where I need to do a better job of setting up things before. So we're not going to be able to cast it very far. Let's look at the test on these. All right, this one's worse. So we'll put it on this one. Hope for the best. So that's our number six. All right, let's just try it. Let's 
right off right off the bat we're starting on the hot, the hot part of the day in terms of fishing i wonder if in this store if they do have crawfish tail like i just know that's going to work really good you know i probably have a couple of markers here no i don't oh i don't want to do this with people everywhere i don't know why but that kind of drives me crazy so we'll do it this way so this is exploration two uh, at the Lesney Villa fishery. And I kind of like this peg. We're kind of in the middle of everything, but let's just go look down here. Mm. Let's just try fishing around this peg for now. All right. I just kind of want to put this right out here for the northern pike. I think that things are pretty finicky in Fishing Planet on hook size. That kind of thing, so... Yeah, I just don't know how well this is going to work. All right, what happens when you... Okay, that's what happens when you cast something that doesn't work on the test. So what we needed to bring was like a starter spinning setup, and I just didn't. I'm almost certain... Just almost certain that that's going to be too big or just, just probably not going to work here. But let's try it one time while we're waiting to see if we get any other bites. Oh. I really don't want to miss the... Because um, this is potentially a tench, right? It'd be cool if we go and hit the tench. We catch something else on night crawlers. Uh, okay. Let's try it one more time. It's early in the morning. I was hoping we might still be able to catch attention without having to fast forward to nighttime. And Semolina caught what? A roach. Okay. Okay. Well, we're in the money already, right? Again, I just don't know. I'm skeptical that this is going to work at all here. Same with the bass jig. I guess you never know. Is a perch going to go for a bass jig? Ooh. That's got to be a pike. Did we actually just catch a pike on this thing? If so, we can switch our um, number one rod to something else. Oh, beautiful. There's our northern, nor northern pike. By the way, we need to take off the bells. We don't need two. We don't need the uh, stand alarm and the bells. All right, what did we catch here on the semolina this time? All right, so it's another Prussian carp. I guess the question is, can we get a little bit bigger hook? Ooh, we already have a six on there. We'll try it with a one. Oh, I didn't take the bell off. Okay. So let's take the bell off. Let's go much smaller hook. And let's try, I guess, bloodworms on this one. Just for a bit. 
See, again, if we can't hit a lucky tinch, if not, we'll just have to go till nighttime, right? Okay, that was kind of fun catching that pike, though, right? Come on, Tinch. Tinch me. On this one, I'm going to go up to a six hook. We'll keep night crawlers, but we're going to go up to a six hook. Now, it could even be that the spot we're fishing at it an ideal. Alright, this has got to be a carp, right? One of the carp we want. It's another Prussian. Alright, so we're hitting Prussian when we're wanting to hit either common... Oh, we should use corner peas. What about for the mirror? corner piece all right let's let's do that let's put on um i brought corn as well let's put on corn i still didn't remove the bill let's see if we get another pike I gotta remember that for next next map, next episode, whatever. And honestly, it's so cheap to leave and come back to these places. We could just leave and come right back anytime without even having to think about it. I think something hit it. Could be wrong. We're not going to snag on these lilies, right? We actually did snag a little bit. So that's on the blood worms, potentially. Um... Smallest we have is a three yacht. Okay. I can't remember what this is. Oh, night crawlers, a little bigger hook night crawlers. Roach again. Nope, Prussian carp. All right, blood worms. Silver bream. I like that. We're going to have to fast forward for tench, but, but I mean, okay, so let's focus on trying to get. What size is this? See if we can get the carp going. If we don't get one pretty soon, we'll switch locations, try a different spot, and then we'll just fast forward to nighttime for the tench once that's all we need. We need a common, a mirror, and then eventually the tench. Okay, so this one, let's look at that list again. Oh, any kind of dough? Bread with honey? I think I did bring bread with honey, right? Oh, 
I really thought I did, but I don't see it. That's been like the perfect stop and go. And we got no bites. I, I mean, I just don't think we, I think we need spoons here, you know? All right, first fish on bread. I think we're going to move spots. Everything here is small. Like I, I'm wondering if we go to 14 hook. Um, does it just come with us? Yeah, I guess it just comes with you. the deeper part I guess down here I think I think I was down here I, I, it's been a long time since I fished here but <laughs> still haven't taken that bell off I know that bread and bread with honey does tend to do well on this map And I just don't, I just don't think that, um, that those jazz, those, uh, bass jigs are going to do much here. I think the best we can do is hope that Northern Pike hit this buzz bait. I think the only thing you can catch is young northern pike though, right? On this map. I want to make sure it's not a hook issue. It'll be interesting to um, just get a better feel for this game in terms of like hook sizes. I, I really don't have any idea right now. But I don't want to... 
I want to know that it's because the bait and location aren't working. Not that I've got too big of a hook on there. Eh, we'll leave that the same for now. I really liked it when Fishing Planet started to add these more Euro or bottom centric maps and um, expanded the game to include, you know, bottom fishing, carp fishing, all that. Really cool. See if we can keep it on the top with uh, speed of two instead of three. Uh, is it going to get there? I really like these running across the top. Three just seems to be the better speed, right? We'll give it another minute. I feel like it's slower down here. It's probably hitting where we want to be. Oh, something hit it after all that. All right, one more cast and then we are moving again. We could see what size hooks they sell in the store here. That might give us a clue too. Oh, we got two fish coming. Hmm. Stop and go. Because we had that nibble on the other line, I'm just going to give it one more minute here, but we're about to move. We're about to move again. Because remember, the gear that you have when you actually come here for the first time is going to be such small, like lightweight gear. And I don't know how much the game takes that stuff into account leader line size in terms of fish fish activity fish bite just not sure i'd be really curious if we had like appropriate spin gear especially i'd love to see like how well the perch bite and the northern pike But it's kind of fun doing this, like these adventures, places that I haven't fished in ages. Some of these places I've never fished, honestly. 
some of the maps. So it'll just be interesting to see. All right, we're still, ooh, it is getting a little dicey. And then I think what I've also tried before in the past and had some success is actually kind of go down to where down here, maybe even a little farther. Let's go on the other side of these reeds. They do sell bread with honey here. How's my backpack? Uh, we've got plenty of room. We also could make some ground bait. Cheese, no, pearl barley. It's mostly roach though. Maybe we just need to use semolina and stay with it longer. All right, so what do we think is just not working here? Peas, have we caught much of anything on peas? Really, corn hasn't caught anything either. It's just been bread and the worms. Maybe we should try semolina again. Just getting roach. This is bread though. Bread with honey might be, maybe we try dough balls and semolina. We just gotta try something different. We gotta get our bite rate up before the time where fish are biting is up. All right, that's dough balls. Wait. Yeah, that's dough balls, okay. All right, already a fish on bread with honey. Looks like it's a smaller carp species. All right, so now do we try going to Back up to the six. And I'm gonna put semolina on this one.
What is this? Dough balls. All right, is it a little bigger? No, I don't think so. Roach again? Oh, silver bream, okay. I'll throw it a little farther. I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay. Yeah, I should have brought at least one more bottom. That was silly. And obviously some more lures. Nine grams, still not heavy enough, right? Nope. What do they actually have here? Everything's pretty cheap, but that's, I mean, I don't, I just don't want to, I don't want to waste money on that kind of stuff. Again, it's, it's cheaper just to travel back, right? All right, so bread with honey is doing quite well, almost to the point of like, do we just put three of these on? Eventually we're gonna hit one of them, right? Wait, can I set this on the ground? Or it has to be on the... There's a common. And I threw this one like way over there, didn't I? All right, so that was on dough balls. So now we want to specifically look at the mirror. Anything weird here? Boilies. I didn't bring any boilies. I don't believe that these tiny little guys are going to take boilies, though. Sweet pea, sweet corn, pea dough. All right, this is the semolina. Another silver. Wow. This is a little fish. Um, sorry guy, we gotta get you in. A tr All right, that one's tiny, so let's Let's get this in first. Okay. We just had a trophy. I didn't even know that trophy Prussian carp was possible here.
Like, I know roach like that, but is there any chance that pearl barley is going to work on? I don't think so. I don't think it is. How much money have we made? $659. Those Northern Pike are decent money, actually. We should probably keep casting. I don't really want that one to get off. That was a new record common roach. Okay. Six seems to be working fine. In fact, that's what caught the... That's what caught... No! I stand corrected. Dough balls is what caught the trophy Prussian. But we are catching stuff on the... Uh, size six hooks as well. Dough balls has been a little quiet recently. We've been catching them on one and two mostly. This is the one we caught the common on, right? Trophy Common Roach. Oh, I don't want to put this down. It's too big. I'm not going to take a chance. We're going to lose the other fish, but I'm not taking a chance. This is going to be a carp. Just the question is, is it a mirror? Oh, come on. Ah. It's another common, isn't it? Another common. We've got two trophies. A Prussian and a roach.
I mean, I kind of feel like we found a good spot. We just haven't hit a mirror yet. And there actually could be a bait that does better with mirrors. All right, I'm never coming to one of these without four bottoms again, by the way. Just to earn some money, we'll see if we can get lucky on another northern pike. Although bites have been so good, I haven't had time to do a whole lot of other things. The other thing I think I should get is like a decent, you know, like six to 10 kilo match rod set up. I don't think that would be too expensive. And I don't think I have much along the lines of mid-weight match rods. But I'm sure pretty soon in some of these missions and stuff we're doing, we're going to want to have... We're going to want to have something like that. This is really fun, though. I have to admit. It's been a blast. Dang. We just got to find the mirror. Find the mirror and then try to get the tinch. Mirror is going to have a little darker color to it, right? Both common carp have been on the doughs, the dough, ball, dough balls, whatever they're called. I think that's correct. Dough balls. Oh no, semolina. Dough and semolina. Okay. But not on the bread. Now, I guess there's an outside chance that a mirror might come in on the bread with honey, but... Be it again. Come on. Big money, big money. Another common. Hmm. Another trophy. I like these size six hooks. We're keeping, we're catching a few trophies. Look at this bite rate too. Wait, is that true? We've only caught 11.7 kilos worth of fish. <laughs> and we have so many fish. These are tiny fish. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, this there's a chance on this one, right? Oh, that's got to be it. Totally it. 
I love it. Okay. All right. We're going to go right here. And we're going to go back to 14 because I'm just not sure on the sizes here. And we want to go Bloodworm. And night crawlers. And red worm. Here we go. We're so close to finishing. Lesney Villa Exploration 2. Hopefully these tench aren't just like in one location. That's a quick bite. What was that on? Bloodworms? It's not tiny. It's not a tench though. we hit another roach on bloodworms I'll put it up to uh, six that might be the sign okay yeah the only thing we don't have to try to target the tench with bait bait wise is like some kind of um, you know, crawfish tail. Obviously, that could be pretty effective. Red worms. Roach. Roachy roach. Start hoping this doesn't kill the bite rate, but I'm going to start popping it up a little bit. We're at 13 kilos of fish. Worth over $1,200, though. I like those trophies. I also like these bream, these bream rods, whatever they're called, bream cast. These are pretty cool. What do we have on it in terms of small? It's, it's, I mean, they're not very, they're pretty lightweight gear. Got to be tench time, right? Were we supposed to do early evening, not all the way to overnight? Hmm.
see if this is another roach. It's another trophy roach. Roach. Another trophy roach. Holy cow. And that was with a six hook. Are there any baits that I'm not thinking of that we could try that we have? Leeches, crawfish. I don't think I have leeches on me. I guess we can put a six on this. I don't know. It's a small bait. I don't know that it really makes sense with blood worms, but we'll try it. We haven't caught anything on the Nightcrawlers one, right? It has been strangely silent. This could be it. Nope. Nope. Silver Bream. Golly, red worms with a six hook and we're still getting tiny stuff. It's a perch. I mean, we're catching the same stuff that we catch during the day, aren't we? I tell you what, we'll give it another minute or two, and then we'll try a different spot. Okay. This is the only one that still has 14 hook, the night crawlers, but we also just haven't caught anything on them since it's actually been nighttime.
Okay. I think we got it. Don't you think we got it? This is on Red Worms. That's it. Lesney Villa Exploration 2. $71 tinch there. We got the mini jas uh, bass jig. $1,300. And one bait coin. Roacher everywhere here. That's a perch. First time night crawlers at night. Let's see if this is another tench. If you can reliably catch tench at night, by the way, on red worms, I guess. Um, that's a trophy. Ooh, we ended up doing really well here. This is a fun little map. This is a fun little map. How we end up doing? Sixteen hundred nine dollars, and we finished the mission. Woohoo! I love it. All right, so that's Lesney Villa Fishery Exploration Two. Tight lines, everybody.